Hi right, guys, this is the Potato Core Lab. Here's a good shot at our lab materials. Hey guys, I'm Mr. Durham, and I am filming the Potato Core Lab. Okay, I went through, I have all my materials. Most importantly, here's the potato. So I'm just gonna follow along with the procedure and uh, get this lab set up for us. So it says label each sample bottle with your names and either core A, B, and C. Since it's just me, I went ahead and label core A, core B, core C. Very simple. Then using a potato core, I'm gonna cut three cores at least three centimeters long and place one in each bottle. Well, first things first, take my potato core, go ahead and stick it on the potato, push down, twist, pull it out. Using my trusty pencil here. There's one potato core, do it two more times. That's two. And three, a couple tater tots. All right, so next thing it says, trim each core to approximately three centimeters. Got my ruler here using my centimeter side. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and cut the peel off all these to start using my razor blade. All right, so to cut this, three centimeters here. Starts at the end, one, two, three, just part right here. That's one. Okay, turn it to zero centimeters, start here. Cut at three, about as precise as I can. That's two of them. Do the same thing again here. One, two, three. Now, if we were in class, this is what we would be going on in lab groups, okay? All right, so I have my three potato cores, and I'm going to go ahead and put them. Well, I would put them in, but I'm actually going to use them, okay? So first things first, they're all measured. They are exactly three centimeters on my... Uh, data table here, length, three centimeters, three centimeters, three centimeters. Great. Okay. Next step, uh, it says measure and record the mass of each core using the balance. Fortunately, I have my balance right here. I'm going to turn it on and use my weigh boat. I don't like to get my potato core on my nice balance. So I'm gonna put that on and I'm gonna hit zero. So it reads zero. So this will be core A. I'm gonna weigh it, 3.77 grams. 3.77 grams. Notice labeling the units. I'm gonna put that back in core A. This will be core B, it's still zeroed. 3.75 grams, slightly lighter, 3.75 grams. This will be core B. And lastly, core C, still zero. 3.69 grams. Okay, so I have all my data. Put this in core C. Now it says, with the core in the bottle, add the proper solution to each bottle up to 20 milliliter mark. And then put the lid on and allow them for, to soak for 48 hours. So. Core A is going to be distilled water. That's 100% water, okay? Fortunately, I have my premixed solutions, which is pure water, 10% salt water, 20% salt water. So I'll go ahead and take my pure water, use this as what's called a graduated cylinder. It's marked all the way up to 25. I only need 20. So I'll go ahead and fill this up, close I can to 20. See if I can do this without spilling everywhere. A little too much, pour a little back in. Happens all the time. All right, we have 20 milliliters. We'll let the meniscus sit on 20. It says go ahead and cover this in core A. Core A, pour it all in. Okay, so core A is complete. Next, core B is 10% salt water. So let's go ahead and put 10%. It's been mixed in here. Need 20 more milliliters of that. One more mil. Run a little over. 
Okay, 20 milliliters, pour it into core B. And lastly, core C is gonna be your 20% salt water solution. Let's pour 20%, same deal, 20 milliliters. Per usual, I added a little too much. Perfect. Pour it into core C. It's all out. Lastly, I'm going to put lids on these, which are over here, um, and we're going to have to let it sit for 48 hours. So we'll be back. Oh, good thing you're here. I'm actually cleaning up my lab station. This is actually what you guys would be doing at the end of, you know, during or at the end of the lab because, hey, when you came into the class, it didn't look like this. Welcome back, guys. That was a fast 24 hours. All right, so let's go ahead and uh, check out our samples, see how they did overnight. Okay, so I'm gonna start with core A. Okay, I'm gonna take it out of the water. Core A was 100% water. Grab my core out of here. Okay, and I'm gonna lay it on the paper towel. We're gonna get a measurement. Okay, looking at it. You can see here, it looks like I have about uh, maybe 31 millimeters, maybe 3.1 centimeters. So it might've grown just a little bit. Okay, and then I'm gonna take it and I'm Wait, gonna wait. Mr. Durham, don't you wanna record your data in your data table? Oh, that's a good idea. I do wanna record this in my data table so I won't forget. So that is length core A. That's 3.1 centimeters. All right. So let's weigh it. Oh, my scale says six point something gram, so I'll have to click the zero button here because I would like it to say zero. Oh, but wait, I forgot my weigh boat. I can't just put my sample on the scale. So I better put my weigh boat first and then I'll have to click zero again. And now we weigh the sample, 4.24 grams. To the data table we go, 4.24 grams. All right, and now we're gonna do the same thing. I'm gonna take this core sample out. I'm completely done with it, so I will throw it away. It's core sample B. This is the 10% salt water. All right, and on my paper towel, I'll go ahead and measure. This one looks like it is about, let's say 2.8 centimeters. 2.8, oops, wrong side, 2.8 centimeters. Don't do that at home. And now we'll mass. Zero the scale. And this weighs 3.2 grams. Ooh, it's lost some mass, 3.2 grams. Okay, then we have sample C. Wonder what happened. Oh, I forgot how to dispose of sample B. Okay. Take sample C out. Let's check out the size. It is about uh, 2.7 centimeters, a little bit smaller. 2.7 centimeters. Again, sometimes we do this in millimeters, sometimes we'll do it in centimeters. Okay. All right, so now we're going to take the mass. Again, I'm going to zero my weigh boat here. I'm going to put it on the, the balance for the scale, and it weighs 2.76 grams. All right, 2.76 grams. That completes our data table. Okay, and that completes our experiment. So the last thing we do afterwards is clean up our lab station. So I'll take care of that. You guys go ahead and work on your graph from here and your conclusion analysis and conclusion questions. And that concludes the Potato Core Lab.